Well, it seems uh, like we're getting more and more counterfeits the last few months. I'm surprised that it must have something to do with the change from the shortage to now this excess. Anyway, uh, we got Otilio here. He's uh, one of our QC guys. Does a lot of the in-depth testing with our decap, x-ray, xrf, all that sort of stuff. And uh, we found these the other day and uh, we wanted to share with you what we found. These parts in particular just have a lot of different problems I noticed. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go through some of them that you... So I began with a scrape test and uh, parts revealed a black toppy. Also we scraped the underside revealing black top with an additional marking and we also found that the pin one indicator indent is also covered in black top. I'll send you that. And uh, we also found uh, uh, E-plated leads along with uh, directional sanding marks on the leads. Yeah, that's uh, that's even more unusual to see sanding marks on the leads. Sanding marks, huh. correct. So they're probably, maybe they were sanding off some excess solder from before. Either excess solder or, or possibly some excess uh, corrosion. Cor corrosion. Something. Also, we took it a little further and we x-rayed the parts mm -hmm. and we found that this three additional, three different dies mm -hmm. on the parts. So that's kind of... That's crazy. That's crazy. They went on a lot of effort to try to pass these parts. Yeah. But uh, other than that, these are definitely counterfeits. Yeah. I think it's funny how if you don't use a microscope, that you could almost, they could almost pass. You can't see all those things. A lot of those things you just don't see unless you're really putting it under the scope. The huh? scope, yeah. Especially like... The way these guys ship on the on the tape and reel, you can't really tell. Right, right. You can't tell if they're counterfeit or not until you actually get them out. It's like under the scope. It's this guy is kind of. Mm -hmm. That's another step they kind of do. That like, oh, they might be lazy and not take them out. Mm -hmm. And we they, we pass them. Yeah. And we also found uh, two CEOs underneath. Uh, one was Malaysia and Korea with the same lock code. That's kind of it's another sign of a suspect counterfeit. Thank you so much. You're helping our customers.